Hi everyone, it's Mary Beth. Welcome to my channel. Today I've got four bee themed DIYs for you. So this first one, I'm using this hexagon shaped mirror and I'm going to paint this frame in a yellow color. It's actually called Maze uh, Chalk Paint by Waverly. And then do not get rid of the mirror part because on the back of the mirror, it's kind of a I'd say in between an ivory and a white color. And so we're also going to paint that as well. And I believe I painted it in white. So as you can see, it's and maybe even a little light taupe color. I'm not sure. But I went ahead and painted over it in white. And that worked out really, really well. So... Uh, as I mentioned, I've got four projects for you today. So excited about them, and I really hope uh, that you let me know which one you like the best. All right, so I'm going to have this stencil. I got these last year. I believe they are in my uh, Amazon storefront. And I decided to use a stencil on the back of this mirror. I am putting Mod Podge on it, not only to kind of seal that paint in a little bit, but uh, also... When it's still just a little tacky, it just holds your stencil down better. So it's so cute. Look at that stencil. So we're going to use some black paint and stencil this on. And then all we're going to do is distress this a little bit, distress the frame a little bit. And I think it turns out really, really pretty. All right. So if you are new here, my name is Mary Beth. And I love doing all different types of home decor DIYs. I'm really loving thrift flips. Those are usually my favorite. I love to go thrifty, thrifting, go to estate sales, and I have quite a few of those coming up. Uh, I do some Dollar Tree DIYs as well, and uh, my style is typically rustic, a little bit shabby chic, um, but, you know, like a cottage uh, decor, and I like to mix I like to mix and match. <laughs> I like to mix different decors together. So I am a little eclectic. So if you like that type of stuff, I invite you to join my little YouTube family here. And if you are a returning subscriber, I thank you so very, very much for your support. It really does mean a lot to me. We're getting really close to 6,000. I cannot even believe it. I wish I could post more and I wish I, I really do, but... Uh, I work a full-time job, and so it does make it a little bit difficult for me, but I try to do my best. Uh, yeah, so thank you for hanging in there with me. I really, really do appreciate it. One last favor, if uh, you don't mind, if you would give me a like, I would appreciate it. It does help. helps my channel to be seen by others, so that would be great. All right, so as you can see, I just did uh, pretty much a little bit of a light distressing Nothing too crazy. Uh, and then we're just going to pop it back in. And that, my friends, is the end of that one. So it was really simple, but I thought it turned out very nice, you know. Now, of course, you could add a bow or something. But, I, you know, with this stencil, I just, uh, it, it, I think it just looked better as is, <laughs> in my opinion. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed that first one. Some of the items in my pictures are from a previous video as well. I'll try to point that out like that flower pot was. All right, so moving on to the next DIY. So I really wanted to make some honey jars. Well, I started with one and then I ended up making two. Anyway, so I've got these little glass jars from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to mix. There's two different folk art multi-surface paints. I have two different shades of yellow and I just mix those together. Now this multi-surface paint is really good because it, it goes on glass well. Uh, you're going to see another one where I think I used Fawn, which is a chalk paint. I should have used Mod Podge first and then painted and I didn't. So I had a little bit of trouble with that one, but in the end, I think it still turned out okay. Uh, I'm not going to show me painting and all that with that one because I think you get it. We're just painting the jar, however you like to do that. Uh, I did, yellow is very translucent. I had to do like three or four coats on this, but yeah, not a problem. And then I just cut out some foam board. It does not have to be perfect. I'm just covering up this circle. 
uh, you know, trying to make it look a little bit more like a honey jar. <laughs> so you're not going to see it really. So it's, it's not a big deal. And then I'm just going to paint that foam board, uh, to disguise it a little bit, but again, it's going to be covered up with hot glue. So you won't really see that. All right. So now, and I just, you know, kind of freehand this, but I think, um, you know, it's kind of whimsical, I guess. So just going off of, you know, kind of the Winnie the Pooh, the way that those honey jars, the way they write honey, uh, that is what I'm doing here. So I have an Indian ink pen and that's what works best for me. I really, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter, whatever, Sharpie, whatever you enjoy using. Uh, but I just wrote the word honey spelled wrong with the end backwards because that is how it is on, I believe on the Winnie the Pooh. So I thought that was super cute. And we are going to, you know, I'm going to do it to both the fawn one and this yellow one. Uh, and then we are going to load this thing up with hot glue on the top. Uh, we're also going to take a, um, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of those things. The honey dipper. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, I have some wooden honey dippers. We're going to do those up as well and attach them on top. This was such a fun project. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was so, so cute. I really do. I think it's adorable. So let me know what you think of this one. I've been pushing away everybody I love I don't know what to do Need a sign from above I just want to be somebody who knows Who knows how to be Okay, so you can see we used a lot of hot glue. Now, I took those um, bee honey dippers and just stained them with some antique wax. And now another loads and loads of <laughs> hot glue to get this thing to sit <clears throat> on top of the jar. There may have been a better way to do this, but it worked out in the end. A lot of hot glue, though. All right, so... Once we're done with that, we do want to paint the hot glue to look like honey. And the way I did that is I went ahead and mixed those two yellows that we used on the jar. And I also added just a little bit of antique wax. And so you'll see there's a slight difference in the color and hopefully it, you know, resembles honey a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that's how I handled that. Wow, we're really loading the glue on. Do you see this? <laughs> Be very careful, please. It's a lot of hot glue and you can burn yourself very easily so anyway i didn't realize i showed this much of the process but oh my goodness so yeah what is everybody um decorating spring and summer with what are you enjoying this season are you enjoying a lot of florals beautiful plants and flowers are you enjoying um fruit things like in your kitchens or you know lemons and strawberries are you enjoying bees like what, what type of stuff are you enjoying please let me know let me know if there's something you want me to do for you as far as video goes I would really appreciate it. All right, so this is the honey color that I came up with. But anyway, there it is. I think it turned out really cute. What do you guys think? Uh, now, that be kind sign, that is in this video, so that is coming up. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just think they're so super cute. Yay. All right, so moving on. Oh, this is a fun one. So this is a little soap dish from the Dollar Tree. And... This is an older calendar and I cut out, they had a little bit of a bigger picture on the back, not the super small one, but not the main picture. I don't know how to describe that. I think you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm just going to use my small little paper trimmer here. Isn't that cute? It's so tiny uh, to trim it up a little bit. And we are going to use a glue stick. Let me tell you how well this glue stick worked. Well, first of all, the glue stick is just from uh, like Office Depot or something, but 
instead of my podge, I didn't have to worry about uh, any bubbles or anything. And it really stuck well, like no problems. And I did not put my podge on top of it, nothing. So a little glue stick, that's all I had to use. And so we're going to put this cute little um, image in the middle of our uh, soap dish. And then I have these little wooden spoons and we are going to stain them with the antique wax. And then we're just going to drizzle hot glue off the end of the spoon onto some wax paper. And we're going to make it look like it's dripping a little bit. Uh, and then of course we're going to paint the hot glue to make it look like honey. And then you want to hear something really exciting. I have seen so many people make bows with their fingers, you know, the finger bow or whatever. Let me tell you, I have tried in the past and I've tried to follow to try and I'm like, I am just awkward. What is going on? Why can I not do this? Well, uh, I got it. I figured it out. I got it down. So my very first very first finger bow was done on this project. Now, I did not feel me doing it because it's a hot mess. Me, you know, trying to do that. If I get better, I will definitely do a tutorial on it. But anyway, I was so proud of myself. All right. So I'll let you uh, sit back and enjoy this and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Bye. I listen when she talks. I watch her when she walks. She's giving me these feelings that Never felt before, but she will never know that I love her so well. She's with somebody else, and I will have to let her go. She will never know, na na, never know, na na. She will never know, na na, never know, na na. She'll never know. It's like she stole my heart. Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close But I have to try Try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings That I've never felt before And she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else And I will have to let her go She will never So there it is. I thought it was so cute. Y'all have to let me know what you think about that one. Just a cute little shelf sitter. It'd look really cute on a tear tray. All right, here we go. I believe this is our final project. I just have one of these kind of house looking signs from the Dollar Tree. This is so simple. We're just going to paint, uh, paint it white. And then on the border, uh, we're going to paint it yellow. And... I have the cutest little uh, wooden bees, uh, little cutouts, you know. So we're going to paint one of those. And this is going to say be kind. And then I've got little wooden letters. I think the ones I used did come from the Dollar Tree. I put all my wooden letters like in one container. So, yeah, I don't I don't remember where they all came from. But uh, I know I've gotten some from the Dollar Tree, some from Amazon, et cetera, et cetera. So, Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're going to do the B and then we're going to uh, use, oh no, those came, I believe, off Amazon, I think, these particular ones. Anyway, uh, we're going to paint them up and then we're going to attach them to the sign. And again, I did a finger bow. All right, so I do spend a little time showing you how I paint this B. Uh, 
you know, just in case you're curious. But so I'm instead of explaining it, it's probably just going to be easier for you to watch what I'm doing. All right. I will be back in a little bit. Okay, so there's my little B. All right, so for the letters K, I, N, D, Y, we're going to paint them yellow. Um, that was pretty simple. I didn't need to really show you that. Now, I am going to distress everything a little bit. Uh, I'm just using a nail filer. File, it's easier. Uh, and then we're simply just going to put this together. We're going to glue that B on and then glue the word kind. And then I make another little bow and that is it for this one it was super easy oh i apologize i did go in and distress a little bit with this uh folk art antique wax uh so just giving it a little bit more distressing outside of the sanding and i do do that i believe to the letters and the b as well and i thought that added a little bit more character a little made it a little bit cuter hopefully uh, yeah, so that's what I do there. I can't tell you how excited I am that I figured out how to make those bows that way. Now it's been a while since I filmed this. So I need to practice because I probably forgot already. Oh my gosh. I watched, there were so many different tutorials. I, I'm sorry. I can't even mention who it was. I found one from years ago. I apologize. I should have remembered who it was, but there's a lot of tutorials out there that you can watch. Uh, so yeah. It's fun. I feel like I need to go make a bunch and practice. That's probably what you need to do is just sit down and make like a bunch of bows, practice, practice, and then you won't forget because I only made these cup, these two, so I probably already forgot. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're just going to uh, shape up this bow a little bit, hot glue that on, and then, yeah, you'll be able to see this one too. So in the pictures there are some other bee projects outside these four that's a previous bee video so feel free to uh check that out if i remember i'll i'll include it in an icard for you to make it easier uh but it's a recent video on my channel and here is our final reveal oh my goodness it's looking so cute i really hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for spending some time your valuable time with me today. I know everyone is so, life is so busy for everybody, you know? Again, wish I could be doing more videos. I will try to get better at that. It's just hard. Uh, <laughs> but I enjoy it so much. Really wish I could do this full time. You know, maybe someday. Anyway, thank you again for your time. And I really do hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. We will talk to everybody soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.